afternoon. Welcome to day 20. Two zero day 20 of Vlogmas, Australian edition. My name is Hayley and this is my channel, The Hay Meadow, where I am always talking about sewing and sewing projects, unboxings, all sorts of stuff. At the moment, we are, as you may well have guessed, opening advent calendars that are all sewing related. How awesome is that? And I've got something extra for you today. We could be calling this box up a loser because not only is it four advent calendars but i've got something special to open as well today so before we get to that let's get on to the calendars i've taken a break from packing i'll tell you about that momentarily um so i am not probably wearing i'm not looking and i'm not wearing anything that I thought I would ever be wearing for a vlog but I'm packing house if you're new here I'm packing house I thought it might be a good idea to buy a house or we thought it might be a good idea to buy a house and move at Christmas time because you know why not it's not like we had anything else going on anyway I am wearing the Laundry Day tee in the um, Chalk and Notch, sorry, the Chalk and Notch Laundry Day tee in a sleeveless version with a V-neck. This is a um, cotton jersey and this is the second one of these I made and I actually decided that I would go a size bigger. That was a mistake. Rookie mistake. The one, the original one I made was fine. I, don't, I have no idea. I don't know why. I just thought I would. I shouldn't have. I don't wear this one in public. Okay, let's start with Kylie and the Machine. Because we always start with Kylie and the Machine for our label advent. We are going for day five today. Oh, that's cute. We have a lovely little, where is it? Here it is. Yeah. A lovely little um, looks like a picture with some love hearts in it how cute is that okay what have we got in here almost ripped the door off oh cool <laughs> I like these I say that every day oh what am I gonna do so oh this is terrible no I'm not gonna do that because I like them so all the things and that is pretty much I reckon that's pretty much how we all feel. If we could sew all of the things, if we had the time to sew all of the things, how many of us would actually leave the sewing room? Oh, apart from, you know, food and go to the bathroom and that sort of stuff and the fabric store. But um, yeah, no, I wouldn't be leaving the, leaving the room. Sew all the things. Now, oh, I've changed positions as you can tell. So I'll reach over because here's the tin. Put these in here. I'm so, I can still close the tin, so that's good. Okay, so next up we have our awesome calendar all the way from Ireland, from Andrea at Beyond the Pink Door. Let's see, this one is looking decidedly empty. Woo -woo, woo -woo. Um, 20. <gasps> There's literally, Four things left in here. Only four. Okay, definitely got number 20. Because we all know that I'm guilty of <laughs> opening the wrong one. <laughs> Two, zero, yes. Oh, so we've got little um, penguins ice skating today. Very cute. Ooh. I didn't do a feel, it feels like a card or something. Oh, cool, oh, awesome. So we've got some patches and these are like, you know, if that doesn't say holiday to you, I don't know what does. We've got a watermelon up the top, sorry about the light, the glare there. Oh, that's better, that's a bit better. So we've got a watermelon up the top here, 
We've got a funky flamingo. As you know, I like flamingos. We have a palm tree. So, you know, lazy on the beach and aloha. So they are awesome. So the watermelon actually has sequins on it. Oh, that light is making it really difficult, but thank you very much, Andrea. That is very cool. Next up, we have the Wattle Hill Fabrics. Again, another one. Doesn't look as though it's getting emptier, but it definitely is. So let's go for this one today. So what do we think? This one's on a long card. Oh, there's movement in there. Oh, let's hope it's not like a gingerbread man. <laughs> I've broken it. I don't think it is. I don't think that's what it is. Okay, let's have a look. I did see that um, I might be getting a delivery today. So I was hoping, oh, cool. I was hoping to be interrupted mid packing. Oh, this is cool. We have buttons. How good is that? That light is terrible, isn't it? There we go, that's better. How good is that? Four different, no, it's five, sorry, five. Five different types of buttons. They are from Create Handmade, and there's 90. 90 buttons in there. That light is just annoying me, but without it, it's really dark, so I have to just deal with it. So create handmade buttons. So there's 90 buttons there. And so we've got sort of, so that's sort of an aquary type of blue. Then we've got a, um, it's like a mustardy green, mustard green. And then this one is more of a burgundy type of color. Then we've got like a gray, like a dark sort of dove gray. And then we have, and uh, it's probably a rusty orangey red and there's different sizes in there I really like that Ooh, thank you very much Susie they will definitely come in handy now normally I would have said and next up we have last but not least the Dahlia Society's 12 days of Christmas however this isn't the last one today now we're going for day 8 because it's 12 days of Christmas. So here we go, lovely little one, day eight. Ooh. So we'll close that one up. Okay, so day eight. Oh, that one's got a little Merry Christmas on it. How cute is that? Okay, so, oh. Thought it might have been needles or something, but it doesn't feel that way. Ooh. Let's have a look and find out. Oh, oh, nice. So they're buttons. Oh, they are the sweetest little buttons. So it's the Lazy Lorikeet is the brand by the look. And then we've got these little buttons. How lovely are they? Aren't they gorgeous? I'll just, I'll do this. Oh, no, I can't get that out of the way. I was gonna try and get the, oh no, I can. I'll get the buttons out the way, but so that you can still see them. That way, if you wanna have a look, there's that QR code there. So let's hope I can do this. There we go. How lovely are they? Look at those gorgeous colors in there. Seriously, I need to work out how to do lighting. One step at a time. So yes, yeah, so they're lovely. Oh, they're really cute. So pretty. So they're a little white button, but they're um, like they're not uniform white. So they're, you know, some areas are a bit more clear than others. Some areas are a bit more white. And then they've got like a little, um, pinky purpley red flower and it's just sort of um, haphazardly on there so not uniform at all which is I really like that um, so if you're putting them onto like a print 
um, you know, they're not all just going to be uniform, which is great. I really like those. The Lazy Lorikey. I'm going to look, I'm going to look those up. So that QR code, um, you scan that for a link to their shop and also their social media. Very nice. Oh, so it actually, I'm not going to read all that. Very nice. Thank you very much, Kristen. They are gorgeous. So there we go. That is it for the advent calendars for day 20. Now, what have I been up to today? So I've started on the kitchen. Well, the bathroom and also the kitchen. So I've gone into the bathroom cabinets and I did a bit of a clear out the other day, got rid of some stuff. Um, but this time I've actually gone in and cleared everything out. So now the only thing in the bathroom is a travel. Um, I've got my little um, travel toiletry bag out and I've put the things in there. So I've still left out my hair stuff because that is a necessity. Um, but most of it's gone and packed up into a box. So that's pretty good that's done um, and now I'm into the kitchen so I have done the plastics cupboard um, gotten rid of a couple of things you know things that don't have lids anymore because they get lost with the odd socks um, so they've all been packed up I've left myself out two um, containers which are for my salad now thank you to all those people that asked for the pasta salad recipe what I'll do, I actually found it, oh, probably about, geez, it might even be like six or seven years ago now, um, on Pinterest. So what I'll do, and I just keep going back to that same recipe. So I will, I'll see if I can link it in the description here, but I may also pop it into the community tab. Um, I don't know why, I just thought maybe I should do that. Um, so yeah, I'll give that a go. So it's great. So it's actually a bacon, tomato and avocado pasta salad um, and the dressing is made up as well. It's not just a store-bought dressing. So I'll pop that into, I'll pop that link to the Pinterest um, recipe um, into the description below. So yeah, it's great. Um, I make two versions of it. I'll make a normal version and then I'll make a gluten-free version because we have some members of the family that are celiac um, and why should they miss out so I make the two versions and um, yeah everyone loves that I get I that's the requested salad every year so hopefully if you make it you like it too um, it's delicious okay so um, yes yeah, so I've left myself those two plastic containers so that I can take the pasta salads on um, Christmas Day. Um, what else have I done? I've also gone and cleared out um, all of the, all of the travel mugs and the drink bottles. I have no idea why we need all of these travel mugs and drink bottles. I'll probably I'm not sure whether to get rid of them because they're all really good ones. So I've got two that I like to use when I'm like going to work in the morning, I'll usually make myself a coffee in the morning and then drive to work with that. Um, so I've got two that fit nicely in my, in the car cup holder thing. Um, I've then got another couple that are a bit bigger, um, which are still really good ones. And you know, if I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> Here's all the secrets. If I'm going to an early morning Audi opening, so if I want something non-special in the Audi catalogue, usually it'll be my sister or Marty and I, or all three of us, will have a an Audi date and um, I will often make the coffees and have them ready. We'll all arrive at one place. Oh, it's not going to be here anymore because usually it's the one just around the corner from me that we go to. That's going to need some re-engineering. It might not be a thing anymore. I'm sure it'll still be a thing. Um, so usually I'll have those ready and we'll all go there so that we're like the first ones standing at the door um, for the Audi specials that we want. Oh my God, this is embarrassing. Oh well, I'm sure that you, you, you're probably the same. 
you know, if there's something you see in the Audi catalogue, you know you have to be there in order to hopefully get one. So depending on how many things there are, as to how many of us will go because we'll write this is what I'm going for that's what you're going for that's what you're going for and then we're off we also have a bit of a tactic where we'll often strike up conversations with other people that are waiting there some people are really guarded and don't want to um, engage but you sort of I tend to make a joke out of it as to you know oh what are you going for are we in competition that sort of thing people open up and tell you what you're after um and we've actually had it where we've joined forces with other people um because we're all going for different things so yeah that's been quite funny in the past so anyway so yes so the plastics have been done um, the travel mugs have been done all apart from two. I figure I better leave myself a couple um, because they do cold drinks as well. Um, also, some of the... So when I'm cooking, I am one of these people who pre chops measures everything so i have the little you know ceramic dishes that i put all of my ingredients in pre-measured so that as i'm starting to cook everything is already done and i'm just adding that's easily verifiable chris Rianne or marty can actually put in the comments that this is true i actually do cook like this um i've packed all of those things so luckily like many other vloggers that I've seen, we are also a HelloFresh family. So Saturday just gone, we received our last HelloFresh box for this address. I've um, skipped the next three and then I'll have to look up and see what the delivery schedule is for the new house. Yeah. It started raining. Is there anything outside that could be damaged in the rain bear with me one moment I'll be back I can confirm that yes it is raining but I can also confirm that no I didn't need to do anything okay so um, Chris has Chris has come down with the loogie that I had the other day so He's had a bed day today, but he's got up this afternoon um, just now and he's gone and put all the boxes that I've packed that can go in the shed, um, out into the shed uh, and shown me how much room we've got left in there too. So still got a little bit of room, but um, it's filling out fast. So this is the garage. So my other car has been pulled out of the garage to make room for all the boxes. So it's almost full okay now i said that this was a box up a loser why would i say that because the mailman or the delivery man has just delivered my december dahlia society bespoke box so do i do a separate video or do I include it here? That's the question. Look, I don't have time for doing two videos, so I'm going to include it here. Lucky you guys. Let's have a look and see what we've got. I've got the magic scissors on hand. So this is the December box. So this is actually New Year's Eve themed. Um, I think it's all that glitters maybe is the theme oh you'll have to you'll have to excuse me I don't remember what the theme was because um, I've slept since then and I didn't I haven't done any of my research oh maybe my little this might tell me no it doesn't tell me you know what I'm gonna have a quick look and check and see what it was supposed to be because that's the sort of person that I am so if we quickly go to the Dahlia Society
and I will check and see what the bespoke was for December. Bespoke boxes. Oh, it doesn't have what the theme was this time. I, I really think it was something like all that glitters or something like that. Anyway, too much time spent fussing about that. So here we have it. The magic scissors have done their job and opened it without us even taking any notice. Lovely black box with a beautiful tape and the Dahlia Society sticker. So let's get that open and the tape and see what New Year's Eve goodness is to be found inside. Okay, so first up we have our little card and I will take that. Oh, okay. And here is our card. Look at those lovely ladies. Now, like me, um, Kristen has a penchant for the Art Deco period. Um, so I love all of this stuff. So that's gorgeous. What have we got here? So there's a, a poem on the back and I'm not going to read it because I have done that before and put you guys through absolute trauma. So, oops, I can see that my finger is sort of in the way there. So I'll pop it up on the screen. And if you want to read it, you can then pause the video and make it bigger and read it. So I will definitely be reading it. Okay, and we have our little, we have a tag and it is oh, made with magic will be made with magic sometime in the near or distant future now look at this we don't have the regular um burgundy tissue paper this time instead we have gold and look at that peacock tape there how gorgeous is that i hope that actually focused on there because i can't see a thing so just giving it a crack. Wow. So that already makes it feel a bit special. So let's have a look. Oh, that tape didn't even damage the tissue paper. Beautiful job you ladies have done. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No wonder these were a limited edition. So I'm just, I'm going to give you a glimpse just to see how fantastic this box is before I go through it. Amazing, Kristen amazing okay so first up we'll start on the top and we have a little pack with um actually i'll open it so it's this little pack here which you probably saw so it's in some blue um like plasticky cellophane and we have so our thread is in there but i'm just going to keep that back for a minute so we have some beautiful embroidery scissors Look at those. So they're your traditional like stork type scissors. They're actually quite large. They're larger than other ones that I've seen. Stainless steel, 115 millimeter or four and a half inch embroidery scissors. Um, ornate handles, as I said, they're the usual sort of stork ones that you see or crane, I'm not really sure. Um, what bird they would be for all sewing and embroidery applications made of high quality stainless steel 
they are lovely absolutely beautiful so as i said i've got my thread but i'm just going to pop that aside for the moment we have some snack and go mix nuts because when you are celebrating the new year at the bar there's you can't go past some little mix nuts we've also got a <laughs> happy new year we all you've got to have a noise maker on new year don't you now oh my god this fabric this fabric is utterly gorgeous but before we get there we have our little cocktail umbrella oh must have been a bit windy then just fix that so we've got our little cocktail umbrella because Oh my goodness, it's a cocktail, it's a gin cocktail set. Oh my goodness. So with this gin cocktail set, you can create delicious and unique cocktails with a variety of fruit flavor mixes. Shake one bottle of mixer with one shot of gin and ice in a shaker pour into a cocktail glass, garnish with fruit slices and enjoy. Now from the back here, I'm going to read them out. So we have, and I'll just, okay. So we have starting from this side, raspberry flavor cocktail mixer. We've got rose water, let's see, rose water flavor cocktail mixer, elderflower flavor cocktail mixer, and lime flavor cocktail mixer. I like all of those. Well, I don't know about you, but that's my New Year's Eve set. That, that's amazing, Kristen. I can't believe that. Super happy. You know, and considering we're moving, this is absolutely perfect because I'm not going to be having a big night, let's face it. Um, I will be buggered. All oh, these little foam wheels. <laughs> it's the little things that amuse me. Um, I'm not going to be planning a big night. Um, in fact, I've probably got little man on New Year's Eve. However, that doesn't mean I wouldn't be able to have at least one of these um, to sip as we are watching some fantastic Disney movie. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, now are we ready? So let's do a quick recap before the fabric because the fabric is just gorgeous. We have, ready for New Year's Eve, a gin cocktail kit. Fantastic. With all flavours that I like. We have some absolutely beautiful um, embroidery scissors which are a bit larger than the normal ones, which is great. We're all set for our cocktails. Sitting at the bar. <laughs> Toasting in the new year. Okay, so it's time for the fabric. Now, here is the thread, and that is a gorgeous dark navy blue which happens to be one of my favorite colors so i am already super happy so we've got a gutterman gutterman navy thread and the fabric oh, absolutely stunning 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 look at that how beautiful is that that is absolutely gorgeous so it's on a navy but background um actually where's my little hopefully i haven't knocked it off the table to know what it is i'm looking for my little qr code because that will also have on i think i have knocked it off the table you know no oh, there it is goodness me it's a real professional production here. That's what I thought. So we have, maybe I'll do that bit again. Who's got time? 
so we have a beautiful cotton lawn look at that that is just so gorgeous so the um Oh, it has. So not all, but some of the feathers have a metallic look to them. It's just stunningly beautiful. So it's got a lovely, lovely drape on it. Look at that. That's going to be so lovely. Oh, it doesn't go with this colour at all, does it? <laughs> oh. Now, because we are, what have we got? I think we've probably got two and a half metres. Um, because we're in summer, I think this would make an absolutely lovely sort of thin strap, um, lovely dress for a New Year's Eve party. Maybe with a um, high-low hem, just a nice little sundress type. Um, oh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I, oh, that's just so lovely. Lovely, light, breezy, flowy, but with a nice, um, like a high-low hem so that you've still got that swish factor, but without being too hot. Oh, that's gorgeous. Kristen, you've outdone yourself. This is absolutely stunning. I am in love. So that is definitely, I'll definitely be making this one up, not in the near future, unfortunately, but that's definitely going to be um, some sort of evening dress just like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So there we have it. Now, I'm going to wear it. This is the only time I'll get to wear it this year, unfortunately. So we'll make it look like some sort of gorgeous New Year's Eve outfit. How's that? It's as good as it's getting. There we go. So there we go. I can pretend that I am uh, pretend that it's New Year's Eve. There we go. Now, if you've seen Kristen's latest video, you'll know that she was sick with COVID and she wasn't able to film an unboxing. So, although this is going to be a very poor um, excuse for one of Kristen's unboxing where she goes through the fabric with you, um, I will tell you though that the... QR code is for the Sohouse 7 Suave dress. I've got my phone here. I'm going to take a quick look and see how that one goes. So I've got a message here from Chris. I've told him that the postman's come and that I'm popping into uh, a film a vlog. And uh, his message is turn on the microphone Muppet now I know that I turned the microphone on I know that I did however he's now got me worried about it yes yes the microphone is on I'll probably leave that bit in there just for your amusement okay Suave dress so house 7 Suave Now that is, that is a perfect dress, you know? So I'm having a look at the So House 7 Suave. Yeah, I can definitely see this fabric made up as a Suave. Um, I would probably do the option without the waist elastic for me. Um... However, I reckon I would probably do the ruffle hem, but with a high-low hem. Where would I steal the high-low hem from? 
there's bound to be a dress out there that I could easily modify the skirt or use the skirt pattern pieces to modify the suave to have the high low hem with a ruffle as a um, like an understated subtle um, New Year's Eve dress beautiful lovely so there we have it that is the Dahlia Society bespoke box for December for New Year's Eve unfortunately I can't remember I think it was something like all that glitters um, if it wasn't it is now so thank you thank you very much for being here for day 20 of vlogmas where we opened up the four advent calendars you probably don't even remember that after this fantastic box um, again thank you Kristen I'm so pleased to see that you are feeling better and I hope Dawn is on the road to recovery quickly as well because I know you've both been working so hard um, over the November December period to get these boxes out um, yeah I am off to swan about in my New Year's Eve fabric which I'm going to pretend now is a dress um, yeah so that is it I will see you all tomorrow for day 21 of vlogmas Australian edition where we may be opening another box as well there's a hint for you thanks for joining me I'll see you tomorrow bye